Dark Depths packs are available for a limited time during the Dark Depths event, but the items will always be available in the standard Apex pack pool of items. English, mother do you speak it? Yes! Hey everyone, Thorn and Smash here, and today we're gonna to be talking about some of the problems with the new event that is coming up, or should I say flash sale, feels more fitting, and kind of what's going on with Respawn in terms of new content, why we're not getting it, because we do have a couple of answers for that, and when we can finally expect new stuff coming to the game, because it is important to look forward to the positive. Along with that, I am still gonna give out, let's say 50 bucks for today's video, so all you gotta do is like, comment, and subscribe, and you're entered for a chance to win. But now, let's talk about what's going on with the Dark Depths. So to start off, with the obvious a lot of players are not very happy with the new dark depths event that is coming to apex legends next tuesday and the main reason is it just really doesn't have any content whatsoever it does have the new habitat for arenas map for those that do enjoy arenas but that's the only piece of new content we won't be getting any kind of town takeover we won't be getting a new limited time mode and there also won't be any buffs or nerfs within this upcoming patch it's just the arenas map well actually there will also be skins that you are able to buy sort of you will have a couple select ones you can get from the store but the rest of the 40 cosmetics will be in dark depth thematic packs which are randomized so you aren't guaranteed which item you will get i would not recommend buying any of these packs because you can just simply craft the item two seasons later for less than what it is currently costing to craft them it's also interesting because they did say it's going to stay in the loot pool forever but at the same time in the trailer it says limited time cosmetics so i don't really know what's up with the advertising there this is truly more of a flash sale than it is a flash event however the main issue issue with all of this is that we as players and people that consume this product were kind of lied to by Respawn. Steve Ferreira, who is now the director after taking over from Chad Grenier and Jason McCord, who left, did let us know at the beginning of season 11 that there would be brand new limited time modes coming this season and brand new events. And it does not seem that we will be getting a new limited time mode this season. There's always a chance with the anniversary event, but we don't know if that's actually going to fall into season 12 or season 11 yet. And one of the main components of what may be causing this issue is a YouTuber known as Onage posted that Respawn has lost a ton of staff and is hiring a ton of people. They've got 19 open positions for game design and 24 open positions for software development. So it seems evidently clear that something has totally shifted within Respawn's culture because not only did the directors leave, but it seems that they lost a huge amount of their staff. But this isn't actually the reason why we didn't get limited time modes this season, at least because stuff in Apex Legends, as we've seen multiple times, is planned at least six months to a year, if not longer. So I just don't understand and why they told the player base that stuff was coming when they knew it wasn't and they definitely didn't have the staff to make stuff up on the fly and get it ready to go. And the really frustrating part is that if you don't have new content and you know you can't put it out, at least give us something. Go back to some of your old game modes. Let's go ahead and see that dummy's big day, third person mode. Let's see solos. Bring back some of the war game events. There are so many different modes that they put the time and effort into creating that if they just brought these back, the player base would really enjoy it for at least a week or two. You don't need to make it permanent but along with that there's also four different battle royale maps start rotating every single one every season playing on two maps all season long will really wear out the regular player base we know in the future that tom henderson said there's gonna be a 6v6 mode we've seen all the leaks we know all about that stuff coming but at least give us a roadmap then like you used to you gave us a detailed list of where apex legends was going in the first year bring that back so that you can temper the expectations of the player base so that players can get excited and know what's coming in the future and they can plan on whether or not they want to continue playing the game or see if there's not any content there that interests them be honest to your player base i really do hope that apex legends and respawn can bounce back from this because it is such an amazing core game it's just really suffering in the way that they're practicing their monetization and putting out new content but if you are looking for new content and stuff in the battle royale genre i did do a video right here where i cover a couple of the best battle royales that will be coming out this year and one of them looks really cool it's got titanfall halo and crisis like all mixed into one and i will do a 20 dollar gift giveaway for that video as well. Just like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.